Hey guys, this is Scout here, and welcome back to, uh, to this game. Whatever this game, so, Mass Effect. Yeah, welcome back, I'm, I feel good about it. Oh, <laughs> there for a second I thought my mic was muted. Yeah, it would've been a good time to find that out, though, so. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Go see sick, baby. To the ward, I guess. See sick. Requisitions officer. He's actually on the other side. Yep. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a Spectre. I'm glad somebody got the Council to see Saren for what he really is. Something I can help you with, Garrus? I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You won't regret this, Shepard. I don't believe in humans. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. Let's go. Is that it? What else are we doing now? What's, what's our, our mission? To leave, I think. Water. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Why do I feel like the Corins and the Turians don't get along? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit? and we stop the Reapers from returning. Get on me. I'll stop him. 
We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. You still considered a captain? Yes, He's Commander. I have a ship. Great How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's go.
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Gives me the chills. Well said, Commander. What an amazing, proud. what an amazing speech. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Let's go talk to my crew members, shall we? Sean's actually curious. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Interesting. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. 
But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Deep space, sleep, whatever those things are called. Rex. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. They tried the same with us. But we fought them off. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan <laughs> scientist? Fair enough. Ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Our training's supposed to make us able to adapt. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? 
Yes. Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Don't blame yourself. The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't have any. <laughs> flashlight Dismiss, heads. Chief. Oh, goodness. Sir. Flashlight heads. I really like that. That's really good. Is this. I don't want the requisitions. Three minutes of talking to folks. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? Visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTO flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Nice. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Nice. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now... I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I uh, see. We're going to not go through all that. Good. See you later. Yeah, you will see me later. Guys, we're going to uh, pick our place, our destination. And then we're gonna call it quits for the night. 
say the night, but um, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping to maybe play some more of this game. I really like Mass Effect. Forgot how much I like Mass Effect. It's been so long since I played the first one. Uh, and honestly, I wasn't going to play the first one. I was just going to play the second one and the third one. But then I was asked by a couple of my buddies why I wasn't going to play the first one. And I was like, well, I don't like, you know, I don't like the first one as much as I like the other ones. And, uh, I don't think that's what I really meant to say. Because I do like this one. Feels, feel like we have uh, made a good time of the game this time. So Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like... We'll continue later, though. Hope you guys have been enjoying. I know I have. See you guys in the next video.